I was actually in a domestic violence relationship and getting out of that relationship, I had nowhere else to go. In March 2014, I was diagnosed with cancerous brain tumour, which I've had surgery for. I've had proton therapy in, in the USA, in Florida for. But other than that, there's not much more they can do for me personally. I live uh, in a refuge and I live with my little son. I was at breaking point, you know, I didn't know what else to do, nowhere else to go. And like I say, within five days, Gyroscope had this house for me. Gyroscope lets its houses to a wide range of people, basically people in any type of housing need. We buy and renovate old, empty properties, bringing them back into use. During the course of the work, we involve volunteers on work placements, giving a lot of disadvantaged people valuable work experience. Uh, Canopy was founded 18 years ago. Um, by two uh, people who lived uh, locally in an area in Leeds and they saw the twin problems of empty homes and homelessness in Leeds and decided to put the two together and do something about it. And the model they came up with was a really innovative one around enabling homeless families to renovate long-term empty homes to create decent, affordable homes um, for themselves and their families. I teach various people, I give them little tips along the way, I even teach some staff a little, little bits and pieces, give them little tips on how things can be done a little bit better, show people how to do different things and try and teach them and hope that they can use what the skills that I teach them in the real world in the future. I garden all of their houses that, that need gardeners um, and also they've allowed me to take this piece of land that I'm going to de develop it into a community garden. Hopefully I'm going to be doing different sessions so maybe children will come on certain days and maybe the elderly on another day, um, people that are on probation and people that are looking to get back to work and they're having a few difficulties, you know, Socialising, I suppose, yeah. So our, our aims as an organisation are to, to house people, and that's right up there. Uh, we're also a landlord now, we've got 64 houses, so we want to be a good landlord and look after our tenants and our houses really well. We also want to make a positive impact in people's lives through support and training and helping people get into work. So those are our, our main aims and objectives as an organisation. I think it, 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 it's a very positive story in a city that's, that's had a lot of, lot of problems and a lot of troubles over the last 40, 50 years. It lost its fishing industry, has very high rates of unemployment, a lot of poverty in Hull. And I think it's just, just a a positive story where we're helping people back into work, we're helping bringing empty houses back into use and just making the city a nicer and a brighter place to live. It's actually built up my confidence knowing that I can actually do something. Um, in the past being told that I couldn't do anything for myself and going out there and proving I can. I've been so confident and it's like my self esteem's gone through the roof. <laughs> oh that is for me it's quiet, peace and easy life here. So it's what do you do with your life? You sit at home and waste away or you find something to pass the time with. I use the skills that I've already gained from working life, at least I can pass it on and it just gives you that warm feeling inside. At least you know you might not be able to pay into the tax system but at least you can pay back socially and help people and make people's lives better.